Hey everyone, okay, so today we're gonna to be doing the best powders of 2020. So let's make a start. The best thing, I love powder. I think it is one of the greatest things you can do to your skin when you're doing makeup. I know a lot of people find that it can be quite a frightening subject, especially as we get older, with it settling into the skin or just making the skin appear older than perhaps it is. It is true that powders in general can sort of go into a crease on the skin or creases on the skin but they also add a wonderful velvety texture to the skin it photographs more beautifully with powder your makeup will stay longer with when set with powder than any other product out there personally i'd rather use less concealer less foundation and more powder i think you get a much better look but let's just go into the best powders okay so first up in no particular order We've got Bobbi Brown. This is the Sheer Finish Loose Powders. Come in revamped packaging, and it's really just quite an incredible product. They've got the soft sand, pale yellow. You can use these to set your entire face, including underneath the eye, um, or bake, however you choose to do it. There's Warm Chestnut. They used to do one, I don't know if they still do, called Burnt Orange. And it was an incredible powder, especially if you um, are a woman of color. It is an incredible powder because it's brightening to the skin. Okay, so Hourglass. This is the Veil, the Translucent Veil Powder. And it is a beautiful product. I mean, there's no doubt it's gorgeous. A little bit on the shiny side of things. Therefore, I would use it more as a finishing powder than an actual setting powder. But it is a glorious, glorious product. Laura Mercier, this is the translucent powder in both translucent and in glow, okay? So they do two versions, glow for just a little bit of shine and translucent for setting the makeup. It is an epic, epic powder. Next up, Ben Nye, the luxury powder. This is, uh, this comes in 42 grams of product. There's lots of different colors. They've got pink and they've got white and they've got translucent. It's an excellent, excellent powder. Hourglass make one called Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. This is wonderful. It has a slight reflect in it and it looks beautiful when you set the foundation or use it as a finishing powder. For a pressed powder, um, Charlotte Tilbury's um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder is still an excellent, excellent, really good um, finishing powder. Bobby Brown do an excellent one. They've actually upgraded their packaging. Um, it looks a little bit more Chanel-like to me. I don't like Chanel. I don't like them at all. Horrible company. But that's just my, my thoughts on them. I had a very horrible time with them at the beginning of my YouTube career. And it left a very, very nasty taste in my mouth. But this is the Bobbi Brown one. And it's great. I mean, it's really, really great. You get the compact and it just feels, you know, I mentioned this before, but I think it's so elegant when you see a... a you see a woman and she's got a compact out and she's just touching up her face. I, I, think, it's, I think it's so elegant. NARS, um, this is the Translucent Crystal Pressed. Great product. Really, really great product. Really great product. Uh, RCMA No Color Powder. The best of the best of the best. Till my one comes out. Rude. Um, NARS also, their loose one, which is the uh, Translucent Crystal. Same thing, but in a loose format. It's great, it's really great. Um, this is great for brightening. Um, Yves Saint Laurent, Souffle, beautiful product. Really, really nice on fair skin. Really, really brightening. I thought there was some more. I'm obsessed with powders. Look at this one. Can't show you any more than that. Won't, oh, right. Um, is there any more? Have I missed anything? I don't think I have. That is my powders. That's my full set of powders. And of course, you can't go anywhere without a powder puff. You absolutely need a powder puff. They are incredible, incredible things. So there you go. That is the best powders of 2020. On a personal note, totally unrelated. Anybody know of any good antifungal soap? It's for myself. I'm not ashamed of things. Um, I get beard dandruff really bad and some products have helped it, but none of it gets rid of it. And it is caused by the same kind of irritant that can cause 
dandruff on the hair, which I happen to have too. That's under control with the shampoo. But the shampoo doesn't seem to work on my beard area. And I find it just, it's, it doesn't itch, but if you, if I was to sit down with a big beard and wear black and go, it would just be covered in it. And you want to pull up my mustache, I can see all the flakes. It's really attractive. I bet you just, I bet you find me so attractive now. Um, so anybody know of any good treatments for that? That would be absolutely epic. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.